Hi everyone, it's Danny. Alrighty, today we're gonna feature the beautiful Maxillaria Picta orchid. And she is quite a striking flower, really. I'll show you why. Maybe the front of the flower is not so striking, but I'll I'll show you the back of the flower. But let me just start with the fragrance for this one. So uh, Maxillaria picta is actually a species. It's not a hybrid of any sorts. So in the um, ID page on orchidnature.com, which you can visit by clicking on top of your screen right now on the info card, you will not see the creator or hybrid or uh, things of the sorts. You'll actually see the origin of this orchid. Um, now the fragrance of this orchid. It is such a letdown for me. I purchased it, one, because of the flower, second, because of the fragrance, because in some sources it was described as honey-like, and I do like honey. But honestly, sadly, it's nothing like honey, and sadly, it hits a very sensitive nerve for me. That's just a personal thing. So it's hard to describe, but I found the perfect way to describe it because I researched it on the internet. Alrighty, so the fragrance overall is bitter for this one. This is how I feel it. It actually reminds me of a flower. I'll add a picture right here. If you are from Romania, you know this flower very well because it creeps everywhere on fields. It reminds me of that flower. Now, I search for that flower on the internet and it actually smells like heliotrope, which is something that they put in fragrances sometimes. Now, heliotrope has a fragrance like bitter almond and that's spot on how I would describe the scent of this orchid. And it hits a sensitive nerve because, and I don't know if you used to do this as a kid, we used to get the seeds from the apricots, crack them open and eat the uh, soft interior. Most of the times it was good, but sometimes you'd get a very bitter one. And that just made me very, very nauseous as a kid whenever I found one of those bitter seeds. And exactly this is how this orchid smells like, and I cannot stand it, sadly. I love the flower, but I cannot stand the fragrance. This, however, does not mean that you will not like it either. Because if you like heliotropes, or bitter almond, or stuff like that, you might like this fragrance. It is also pretty powerful. I can definitely smell it in my balcony. The good news for me is that the Cygnotus Wine Delight overpowers it. Thank you. You're the man, you're the MVP. So I hate the smell of this orchid, but that's just a personal thing. You might actually like it. However, if you're expecting honey-like scent, nope. If you're expecting flowery Cattleya scent, nope. If you're expecting, I don't know, cherry baby scent, nothing of the sorts. It's pure bitter. But you might actually like it, it's interesting. But it, it just, if you've ever like eaten bitter seeds, bitter almonds, stuff like that, no, you're absolutely gonna hate the fragrance. All right, enough about the fragrance. I'm sorry for this description. It's just a letdown for me, but the flower is pretty. So let's take a look at the flower now. So you've seen the front of the flower and you could see it's pretty yellow and nice, but look at the back. This is a unique feature with this orchid. Not many orchids have this. The back of the petals and sepals is actually the most interesting part of the flower. It has this buttery background and some dotting. This is normal. It, it's not a sign of fungus or anything. It's just how the flower looks like. And inside the interior, um, let me just show you. The lip is a little bit spotted as well, and also you can see here the center is a very dark red. Very beautiful flower, I absolutely love the flower, which makes this a weird orchid for me. I have mixed feelings. Absolutely hate the fragrance as I'm standing near it right now, but I absolutely love the flower. <laughs> so, when I'm gonna have a separate grow room, it's gonna be much, much better really, because right now I can sometimes feel it in the house and it's ugh. But <laughs> yeah, that's just me. But this orchid is actually pretty hardy, pretty easy to keep, it really likes bright light. But other than that, it doesn't fuss about humidity as long as you remember to water it and the flower display is really pretty. Each pseudobulb can create multiple flowers. Each flower spike is kind of short, let's say, and it has only one flower, but a pseudobulb can create multiple flower spikes of the sort. So if you have a bigger orchid, you'll have multiple flowers. And it will look really, really pretty and quite spectacular. If you can stand the fragrance, yeah, definitely go for this orchid. She's really such an easy grower and a joy, and she's not really, really big, as you can see. Um, kind of has a tendency to spread around, but she's not tall. She's quite tiny, let's say, so you can definitely keep her in a smaller growing space as well. Another interesting thing about the flower is that it tends to kind of curl. The petals kind of curl a little bit and they're actually pretty waxy. So when they curl, you can actually see the pattern on the back of the flower. And together with this yellowish 
color on the front it's absolutely pretty so i definitely would buy this orchid if you don't have a very serious problem with the almond bitter almond smell definitely go for it it's such an easy grower i really like it only thing that it needs is bright light so yeah sadly this orchid is mixed feelings for me i really hope the flowers won't last way too much although i read that they can last for about a month or so but it remains to be seen i'll add in the description that i made on orchid nature the flower duration after it's done blooming because this is the first time this orchid blooms for me and it's pretty it's really pretty it just smells bad it smells worse than the horse poop smell that i get from the green hornet so yeah anyway thank you guys for watching i uh, hope you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the flower it might be an orchid you will consider to buy if you're not put off by the smell other than that it's just pretty and it is unique i've never seen an orchid that has a prettier pattern on the back of the flower than it has on the front and hopefully you can see this it's absolutely gorgeous so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and a share, subscribe to my channel for daily orchid videos, and also feel free to leave me questions or suggestions in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchidnature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets, and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch another orchid video. Thank you for joining, I'll see you next time. Bye!